Good morning, Disney World. Welcome to another episode of Ben Cod Dreaming. Today, I'm going to discuss the news that came out from D23 Expo about certain rides and experiences that will come out soon. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. I'm kind of surprised they delayed Tron until 2023 because it kind of seemed like they had things under control. But I don't know. And, and they, they were doing test runs and, you know, lots of improvements and updates. And uh, they are posting a lot on the uh, Disney Parks page. But yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of surprised that they delayed it until the springtime. But I wonder if they wanted to focus more on different areas of the parks to open up and um, make available to people instead of rushing into Tron. It would be kind of funny if them announcing Tron opening it in spring 2023 and then like open it up before that that way they could make it a surprise during Christmas time that would be fun Figment becoming a character meet and greet does not surprise me because he's he's a really big face in Epcot and he uh he's he's also on like a lot of pins and art and uh t-shirts and clothing and all that stuff so i'm not surprised they're having a meet and greet um for him because he's a really big face for like the uh festivals and uh all that stuff so yeah i'm, I'm really glad they're making him a meet and greet because it's almost like a nostalgia thing for for people who uh would want to meet him too all right i understand that disneyland specializes in characters from movies and tv shows in their parks but i'm wondering why they can't do the same for disney world i don't know i think disney world could benefit a lot from having the mandalorian and grogu in galaxy's edge and even just like more characters in general in disney world i'm happy that the mandalorian and grogu are in galaxy's edge and, and disneyland but i also wish they could make it the same for disney world too obviously for the marvel world and, and disneyland it's different because like you know there's not as much marvel in disney world so i can see why there would be not as much characters in disney world for marvel but for star wars they should have a lot more for disney world especially where star wars fans go crazy over the mandalorian show there are diehard fans out there that would do anything to meet the mandalorian and grogu and even just to walk past them. And some people can't afford to try to fly to California or drive to California just to meet the Mandalorian and Grogu. So anyway, I'm super happy that they're opening Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway in Disneyland because that's arguably one of the best rides in all of Disney World because it's a really big classic and there's no, oh, you're too old for, you're too young. It's, uh, it's perfect for all ages. There's not much motion at all. It's a really good storyline, and you really can't go wrong when you ride it. It's a really awesome, feel-good ride. You feel so immersed in the cartoon world that Walt Disney created. So I'm glad they're bringing that in, in Disneyland, California. I'm so glad that they're bringing back Happily Ever After, because, and I know that the uh, Disney Enchantment, where it was great, but it's not Happy Ever After. I recall watching Happily Ever After for the first time, and I was like, wow, this belongs in Magic Kingdom. And it didn't really last long after that, after I saw it. I'm surprised they announced it this soon that they're bringing it back. But, you know, I know fans are happy, and I'm, I'm happy too. But uh, Disney Enchantment's great. For me, it doesn't have the, like, the really good nostalgia feel that I have while watching uh, happily Ever After. I'm really happy that they announced Tiana's Bayou Adventure in Magic Kingdom in placement of Splash Mountain. I know people were really mad when they announced the update to Splash Mountain two years ago, but like people don't realize that Disney always ch changes their rides. And it's always trying to add different experiences to the rides and you know, that's been a ride in Disney World for in Disneyland for a long time and some people get really tired of the same thing disney always needs to put in the extra effort to make it different for people whenever they come so i can see why they would update it i wonder what the transfer date is for the cast members that work at splash mountain right now plus if i were a cast member and i'd had to hear 
I probably get brain damage after a while. I'm not trying to crap on the song, but it does get very old after a while. If you, if you ride it a lot, it gets kind of repetitive, so. But I guess if you enjoy the song, you do you. I think it's it's going to be a really good addition to the Magic Kingdom, especially where the Princess and the Frog was like the last form of animation that Walt Disney Animation had before they, so they switched to a different kind of animation, if you know what I mean. It's almost like before, like Tangled had a different kind of animation than the Princess and the Frog, and they haven't changed ever since. And so, the Princess and the Frog was the last, like almost like last classic animation style that uh, Walt Disney Studios had for princess films. I've got to be honest, I'm glad they're going to change Harmonious. I like Harmonious, but I think Epcot Forever was a better idea for the fireworks show in Epcot. I remember Epcot Forever was really great, and then people saw Harmonious and thought they'd be wowed more, but they were kind of like, almost like, eh, I kind of wish Epcot Forever was back, and uh, now it is, so, well not now, but soon. It's, it's honestly very hard to impress Disney fans with shows and rides, but they have to make sure they, they cater to the fans, you know? When I was in Disney World in October of last year, people like were kind of mad that there was like different languages to uh, the Harmonious song, but it's like, you're in Epcot, like you're in like several different countries at a time. And it's like, I don't know why they thought that it would there wouldn't be any different languages besides English, but I don't know. What do I know? I think if Dizzy keeps almost like a classical feel and keeps a nostalgia feel for it and it isn't too ambitious, then they should do well. But yeah, I just want to share my input on the announcements from D23 Expo in California. And I hope you enjoyed my opinions and thoughts on it. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Now, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And if you want to share it, Go for it. But yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.